God's presence. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight, I strongly believe that there is something new here that God wants to do in somebody's life.
the house has been bought by your father for you. Confirmed. In fact, the person that sold the house had called you that the payment has been made and then the house had been given to you. But you got to the house and you met the gate of the house locked with a key. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm not hearing you. What are you going to do? Eh? You are going to turn back. Eh? You break the padlock. Because now that house is yours. Now listen to me. Redemption from causes at Christ had made it happen. But it is our duty to enforce it. It is our duty to enforce it. And that is why it is very possible for Christ to have redeemed a man and the man is still living under that cause. Very possible. Somebody said something that when you tie, it's not even when. He said he, he had an experience. A goat was tied to a particular place and it's been tied for many months. And then after some time, the goat, uh, the rope was released out of the neck of the goat. But they discovered the goat did not leave that environment. possible to have freedom and not ex enjoy freedom. So Christ has redeemed us but we have to enforce that redemption through prayer. And in case anything around that is hanging around our life, we have to break it. We have the authority to break it. Now, if that house has not been paid for, you cannot break that bad luck. But the moment that house had been paid for, then you have all the legal right to break that bad luck. So Christ had redeemed us, but what we are doing tonight is to exercise our legal right through redemption to break every yoke of curses operating in our life and to enforce our redemptive rights in Christ. And I want every one of us to attend to this matter because God called for it. And the scripture said, he had not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. If God called for a meeting and he named the meeting, he then implies that there are things he had settled before the meeting that he just want us to come and enforce those things. Listen to me. Causes are real. Just like blessings are real. How many of us will doubt the blessings of God? You will doubt the blessings of God. I can't doubt the blessings of God because I've seen blessing. I've seen it. I've seen the blessings of God many times. I can't doubt it. But hear me very well. I can't doubt causes as well. Causes are real. In my years of experience as a pastor, I have seen causes.
I have seen causes. I have seen the effect of causes. I have seen the power of causes. I have seen the negative effect of causes in people's life. Sometimes people will bring some cases to me and you will see that nothing is wrong with this man physically. Nothing is wrong with this woman physically. This man has done everything required to be done. And yet something is happening somewhere that you cannot explain. If causes are not real, it will not be recorded in the Bible. Causes are real. Thank God for my son is here today. His case is a testimony. I just remember now. Many years ago, I went somewhere and just like my usual, my usual nature, after I think I think it was a house dedication or something, and I saw some group of young men, and I decided to just spend some time with them. And after which I left. Then this young man came to me. He asked for me, asked for my address, and then he came. So when I saw him, I recognized him, and he talked. He said, this is it. Somebody pronounced a curse. In fact, I remember he told me I did something and this man pronounced a curse. And from that time, I discovered that things were not going well. And as he discussed that with me, I said, somebody cursed you. Somebody also will bless you. Those of us that were there at the first place we used, one Sunday, brought him to the altar and blessed him on the altar, asked the whole church to stretch forth their hand and blessed and that was the end of that effect of causes. God has blessed him and God is blessing him today. Listen to me. That young man cannot doubt the power of cause. That young man cannot doubt the power of cause. And that young man cannot doubt the power of the blessing. Somebody under the sound of my voice today, because of the mantle upon this service, I declare you blessed. Amen. I think I will hear a good amen to that. Amen. From that point, the effect of the curse died and the effect of the blessing resurrected. I have seen people live under curses. I've seen people and I've seen people live under blessings. What is the cause? Don't worry, we are going to pray tonight. Number one, a cause is a negative decree proclaimed upon someone. A cause is a negative decree proclaimed upon someone.
someone drop that pen. Every negative decree pronounced by any man born out of a woman against your life, against your children, against the fulfillment of your destiny, against your joy and settlement in life, Today, by this pronouncement, I render those causes non and void. I render those causes non and void. Look up, look up. Even before I finish that definition, the Bible said that Balak went to hire Balaam to curse the people of Israel. He went to hire. And when he went to hire Balaam, he said, his statement, he said, Balaam, I know that whoever you bless is blessed. And whoever you curse is cursed. So Balaam is a professional curser. What whoever he cursed remain cursed. He has a specialization in that area. And he was hired. Listen to me. I am very sure of the mantle upon this service tonight. Whoever have been paid, whoever was paid to curse you, to curse your children, to curse your lineage, today I am under a higher mantle. I declare the curses are rather not avoid. Those curses are rendered non and void. Somebody say after me, I am blessed. I cannot be cursed. Say it louder, I am blessed. You see, you are already praying. Say it louder, I am blessed. I cannot be cursed. Every curse is projected in my life. Back to the sender. 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 Look up. Look up. While we're growing up, if I'm not mistaken, I think I was in secondary school. And um, there is this relative, very close relative. And there was an issue that night. There was this issue. And uh, it wasn't supposed to be an issue. But this man made it an issue. And so he came out. And he started shouting and started shouting and after some time I said please enough of this this is not needed and I said to him I said ah. I said I am the one that will take care of your children I said because I'm the elder one in the entire world so I said don't don't create issues. I'm the one that will take care of these children. So let this matter. He said, no. He said, if you give any of my children anything that day that you give them, may they die. You see, sometimes the devil is so stupid that he doesn't even watch what he says and what he does. In that man's heart, he was cursing me. He really did not know that he was cursing his children. It was a big issue. A small issue became a very big issue. And then I remember that day, I was saying, I didn't have this understanding. I was just saying, as the Lord liveth, I will be placed in a position to take care of this man's children. I'll be placed, ah, and he started saying again. You know, he started making some, I can't remember 
exactly, but I can remember that one. He started making some, some wide statements and curses and the rest of it like that. And then, in his smartness, he started positioning his children in such a way that. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. In such a way that they, they will never need us. They will never need me. Listen to me. Yes, past. Just two months ago, I think it should be two months ago. Just two months ago, I climbed on the altar to preach and I saw his firstborn sitting in the church. Ah. Is it this person? Ah. And after the service, he came to the office. All the teeth are almost worn off. I hold. The same age with our last born. All the teeth almost worn off. And was looking at me. Ah, Egbo. Ha. Ah. I wanted to give him money, but I remember if you give him money, he will die. So that somebody will not die in my office. Listen to me. I wish that man understand that there are people it is an anathema for you to curse them. There are people that when you curse them, the curse will return back to their head. Hear me today. Listen. Le kuparata and the kopari Say after me tonight. Say every curse is fired in my direction. Today, I decree all those curses back to the sender. Tonight I decree all those curses back to where they came from. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, my head is blessed. My head cannot be cursed. Say louder, my head is blessed. My head cannot be cursed. It's a negative decree, a negative pronouncement upon someone for material, physical, emotional, psychologic, psychological, and spiritual destruction. So a cause can be sent to destroy a man psychologically. A cause can be projected to destroy a man emotionally. A cause can be sent to destroy a man spiritually. A cause can be sent to destroy a man physically. You know, some people are going through emotional issues. They think it is normal. It is not normal. He may be the product of a curse. He may be the product of a curse. And the curse is aimed at destroying. It's aimed at destroying the person it is sent to. It is aimed at destroying the person it is sent to. Listen to me. I have seen a cause destroy an entire family. I have seen a cause destroy what a man labored to get for 40 years. And in those three hours, I have seen a cause destroy it all. You remember? What do you say about a family? Five of them. Five of them. No, I think five children. The husband, the wife coming home and had accident and the entire family wiped off. That is normal. Do 
you think that is normal? Somebody sat somewhere and was projecting a curse. Listen to me. Have you not seen very intelligent students struggle to graduate? I mean very intelligent. Struggle to graduate? Have you not seen people highly paid and it never occurred to them to buy a land? I mean, the earning is no problem. But it never occurred to them. Listen to me. Causes as controlling effects. Number two. Let me speed up. What is a cause? Listen. A cause is an empowerment to fail. A cause is an empowerment to fail. When a curse is pronounced on someone, that person is naturally empowered to fail. Whatever he does, he must fail. He can't succeed. Because he has been empowered to fail. from verse 1. Genesis 49 from verse 1. You see, sometimes when you see <laughs> when you see some people behaving somehow, living somehow, sometimes it's not, they are not the one who there is a cause controlling their lives. Look at verse 1. Genesis 49 verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourself together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Look up. Jacob said, Gather yourself together, and whatever I say is what will determine your outcome in life. What about my result in school? Jacob said, That's not what will determine your outcome. What I say. Is what will determine your outcome. What about my gifts? What about my ability? What about my effort? Jacob said, see, your future is in what I pronounce. Your future is in what I pronounce. That was the meaning of what Jacob said. Hear me as we proceed. I come as a Jacob to pronounce over your life this year you will end well. You didn't hear what I said. I said this year you will end well. Your tomorrow is great. Your future is great. Hear me. I've been saying it and I will keep saying it under God. You will break your family records. Jacob said what I say is what will determine your handle. What I say. Next verse. Gather yourself together and hear the sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel, your father. Next verse. 
Look at this. He said, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of my dignity, and the excellency of my power. Uh -huh. Look up. He said, unstable as water. Do you understand the meaning of that? For those of us that have been with me, I've preached on this before. When he said, you see, every word you hear has a meaning you may not understand. He said, unstable as water. Number one, the meaning of that is Reuben, you will never be stable in your life. Now, he mentioned what I said, unstable as water. Now, listen, water has, every science student knows that water has three major characteristics. Number one, a good water is colorless. When he said Jacob, unstable as water, the meaning of that is, uh, Reuben, all of your life, you will lack color. No color. you but in the color no beauty that is why naturally naturally the woman is beautiful but nobody ever called her no man ever called her number two characteristics of water A good water is tasteless. In other words, Reuben, your life will lack taste. Number three, water does not have a, a shape of its own. Water only assumes the shape of the container you put it inside. The meaning of that is, Reuben, all your life you will lack shape. No shape. And that's why if you study, if you study Reuben very well in the Bible, until when Moses reversed the course, nothing meaningful happened in that generation. As if that was the end. Now look at that scripture. Look at that scripture again. As if that was the end. He, he now said, Thou shalt know what? I can't hear you. Thou shalt know what? He now said, Thou shalt not excel. That is, whatever you do, go for it, don't let. You can never succeed. If it remains a second, Reuben, for you to succeed, something will just happen. I decree over your head you shall excel oh my god I think somebody will say louder amen to that I say you shall excel you shall excel somebody say after himself father among my siblings in my family I shall excel I shall excel Listen to me, even if your family member is here, I think you have to face your life first. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't worry. If God bless me, I can extend it to you. We are family. If I can help you, don't worry. If I will help you. So look at yourself first. You are going to pray it. Somebody make a pronouncement. He said, Reuben, you shall not excel. How, how can you hear that? And you sit down and say, okay, yes, he said it. No, I think you have to say, and he said, I must excel. I like that song, colorful, hand is bright, I must get there. It doesn't matter how. 
Because if a cause is an empowerment to fail, a blessing is also an empowerment to succeed. So you are going to say after me, because we are praying this prayer systematically. You, you are going to say it with your heart as we pray it. Say after me again. Say, Father, I declare among my siblings in my family, I shall excel. Measure your name. I shall excel. I at the Guabiola Ulua family in my family extended and nuclear. I shall excel. Paternal matana. I shall excel. I shall exert. I shall exert. mighty name we are praying. Are you going to pray this prayer? Say every causes. Oh. Every causes. Known and unknown in my family. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel you tonight. Every causes in my family. Known and unknown. I cancel you tonight. Somebody go ahead and pray. I cancel you tonight. we are praying look up I've told you this before we have evidences a man that in fact some of my pastors know him he won visa lottery he won it already won and then when he had already went to the embassy and whatever and they only told him come back this day and then we we'll give you your visa and then the day he went everything was already set to oh, before he went, a day to when he was going, he said he was watching television and all of a sudden he saw three women in the television in his house three women sat and they spoke to him, where do you think you are going? And they told him from the television, you shall be denied. And he went and according to him, he said, the man was, when he got to the embassy, he was like, okay, I, I told we told you to come today for your visa and whatever. And all of a sudden, the man asked, he said, but where is the place of your birth? The question was not supposed to be asked. He was supposed to get there and collect his visa. That was it. But a cause was pronounced. I don't know the technology that they use. How can you be watching Super Story and Super Story turn to three women? And he went there. 
and they ask him and he gave an answer after he finished answering that was when his brain came back what did I say and he was trying to correct they said no 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 and denied till today I always see him till today you will see that the devil has dealt with him till today I ask you to pray you are praying as if <laughs> ah, whatever when God told me last night lead the church to pray I don't know what he saw somebody say again say every cause ah, yeah, yeah. known or unknown in my family in my bloodline today I cancel you today I cancel you Somebody go ahead and pray. Every cause. Every cause. Known and unknown. Helebo shakalabaya. Hey, <laughs> Jesus mighty name we have prayed look up let me show you something before we continue in Psalm 24 he said something look up just look up he said lift up your head O ye doors and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors look up in the natural world you need a silver key to open the door. In the spiritual world, they use words to open door. They use word to open door or close door. Now listen, when a blessing is pronounced, the blessing travels ahead of you to open doors before you get there. But when a curse is pronounced, the curse travels ahead to close door before you get there. Somebody say after me, say, Father, every curse that has traveled ahead to close doors for me today, I destroy you. Every curse be destroyed. Somebody go ahead. I shall abayadabayadaba. Every curses that has traveled ahead pronounce to go ahead to now be destroyed Ba 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I declare a word of blessing to go ahead of you and open doors for you. And open doors for you. And open doors for you. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Don't worry, we are going to do it as the Lord permit us. Whoever has said you will not see the day of your joy, I decree today from this exalted altar that cause go back to their heads. You will see the day of your joy, and your enemies will have headache about your joy. In the name of Jesus. of causes number one look at second kings chapter 5 verse 27 second kings chapter 5 verse 27 number one generational causes generational causes a generational cause is a cause that passed through the family line from one generation to the next. It passes through the family line. In fact, most of the times, generational causes are unknown. If you don't take your time to study, if you don't take your time to check, you may not know. It passed from generation, one generation to another in the family. Look at second, look at, look at that scripture, Second Kings, chapter five, verse twenty-seven. The Bible says, "The leprosy of Naaman." That's when Elisha was talking to Geazi. He, he was cursing Geazi. Look at what, look at what he said. The leprosy, therefore, of Naaman shall cleave unto thee. Is that not okay? He now said, and unto thy seed forever. The children that didn't know anything. The generation that didn't know anything. If you know the life that you live, do you know the life that your father lived? If you know the, the life that your father lived, do you know the life that your grandfather lived? If you know the life that your grandfather lived, do you know the life that your great-grandfather lived? Do you know the things that they have done? And because of that, somebody has pronounced a cause and now you don't know anything. You are not even aware. It was Giasi that committed an offense. And I think Gehazi should be caused, if anybody should be caused at all. What about the innocent seed? The innocent generation that didn't know anything. But hear me. I saw a scripture. The Bible says, 2 Kings 14, 6. 2 Kings 14, 6. And I think I used that scripture to pray. Second Kings 14 6. He said, But the children of the murderers, he shall slew not. According unto that which is written in the book of the law of Moses, wherein the Lord commanded, saying, The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, nor the children be put to death for the fathers. But every man shall be put to death for his own sin. I will not carry the cause of my fathers. I will not. I will not. The scripture says that every man shall bear their own sin. 
Therefore, will you say amen if I pray this prayer for you? The flow of generational curse in your family, in your bloodline, ends tonight in the name of Jesus. I want somebody to say louder, amen. I said that flow ends tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. One day, I'm saying this with all sense of responsibility. I have never shared it with any man on the planet of the earth. I have never shared it with any man. There was a man I knew. And one day, I don't know, I was not praying about him, I was not whatever, and the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that while he was growing up, impregnated someone and uh, aborted for the person and it pained that lady and that lady cursed him and cursed his children. Now, and I saw it and I saw that the curse was ravaging over his head and ravaging over and listen to me, I have never shared with anyone because I was not sure whether the revelation I saw was right or not so I didn't share it but as I'm preaching now, I, I just remembered and I looked at his life. I looked at his life. This thing I'm sharing with you, God revealed it to me 2013. And up to today, that man's life had not had any meaning. Now, so if the children did not do anything about, about it, now that they don't know, they don't know and I'm not planning to tell so the children will be experiencing some things and they won't know. And they'll be saying, no, I'm trying my best, but I've done everything. What has your great father done? Your great grandmother. And you are not even aware. And you are the one suffering. Somebody say, not again. I can't hear you. Say, not again. Say it again. Say, not again. Somebody say, father, I declare, because your word said, Every man shall bear his own sin. Therefore, today I will not suffer for the sins of my parents in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Number two, type of causes. Is God blessing you? Look at Second Kings, or no, look at Joshua chapter 6, verse 26. Please be very fast because I still want us to pray about 10 minutes or something. Joshua chapter 6, verse 26. Now, the second type of curse is what I call environmental causes. Environmental causes. <laughs> environmental causes <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. these are causes that operate on a land in an environment or a place where a man lives or works Look up. There are houses that are cursed. Are you listening to what I'm saying? There are houses that are cursed. There are houses that people live in, no matter what they do, they can't have any breakthrough until they back out. There are areas, environments. Even if government program development, whatever to, the, to that place, something will happen, they will move it.
Look at, look at this. And Joshua, after Joshua had brought down the wall of Jericho, God has brought the wall of Jericho for them. Look at what Joshua. And Joshua adjured, adjured them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that riseth up to build this city, Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in what? In his firstborn. And in his youngest son, he shall set up the gate of it. A curse was placed on that land, on that project. But this man, look at what happened. Look at what happened. Second Kings, or First Kings chapter 16, 34. First Kings 16, 34. Many years after, I mean many years after, this man came. He was a bricklayer. They only paid him. Come and build this wall for us. He didn't know anything. How were you supposed to know? He didn't know anything. He was, a, he was just paid. Build this wall for us. And he was paid. And look at what happened. And in his days did he hear the better light build Jericho. He did not know that a cause was already placed on that work. He said he was she the koala by in the name of Jesus. Oh, Nishe. I pray for you, you will not take it. Something will just happen. You will not take it. And if you take it today, your hands are blessed. Your hands are blessed. Do you know there are people that they have carried problem because they helped some people? Because they helped a cost man. They helped a cost man. Ah, I pray. Kali Parush and the Kataya. Perush and the, by the mantle upon this service. Every environmental causes operating in your life, uh, all that you have walked into, or not to you. Today, I turn it around for your blessings. Look at that, that man. He just took a walk, he took the job, he didn't know anything. And he laid the foundation thereof. In Abiram, his firstborn. The firstborn died. He thought, ah, it, 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 And he, he continued. The Bible did not tell us how many children he has. Look, at, because the, that word was silent. The word was only, the word only said, he will lay the foundation with the firstborn and he will finish with the last one. That means if he has five children, before he complete that work, the five must have died. He laid the foundation in his firstborn and set up the gate thereof in his youngest son. Shake up. Because of environmental causes. Listen to me. I want a uproar of amen three times. After today, you will not lose anything again. I say after today, you will not lose anything again. Somebody say after me, say I declare the environment, the land, the house, which I'm living, I'm walking, is blessed in the name of Jesus. So again, I declare the environment, the house, the land, the area which I'm living, I'm walking, is blessed in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and declare it. In Jesus' 
Jesus mighty name we are praying. Will you say amen to this? Tomba ni wan ken shori re lo gomo sho. Ni lu o gomo sho. Ko to kuo wa shori re. In this land you will build houses. In this land you will prosper. Ah, in this land you will prosper. In this land you will make it. In kata wen yo rishe ni lui. No lu ko jesu wa ashe pe lu ara. Wa ashe wa ato darasi. Wa ashe wa ato darasi. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. One of the first things that God told me to do was to break the course on this land for this ministry and for me. That's why we are doing what many people cannot do. Today, every course on this ground, every course in the land of Ogomosho, today, for your sake, I break those courses. I break those courses. Look up. Have I shared this with you? I was in an hotel one day praying. I was praying in an hotel one day and the Lord showed me Isaiah 27. And I carried Isaiah 27. I began to read. And he was telling me about Leviathan. He said, God has destroyed Leviathan. I didn't understand. And while I was on my knees praying to God, and the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, do you know that all the major roads that enter Ogomosho pass through a water? He said, all the road, the major road that enter Ogomosho pass through river, a river. From Oyo, River Oduoba. From Oko area. From Oko area, Ora. If you are coming from Owode area, it's the same extension of here, Lautek area. Beef at the front of Dockers, Dockers Ote. When they were constructing that road, I was privileged to meet with the, one of the engineers. He said they called out a crocodile and they begged the crocodile because there was a stream, there was a stream that passes over. So listen to me, all the major road that enter Obomosho pass through a river. And I said, God, what is that? And he said to me, Leviathan means the demon of a river. He said, go to all the entrance and speak to those rivers. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And I carried my sons and carried my pastors and we went to all the entrance. Listen to me, Life is spiritual. That is why people that don't know, they just step into a place and think they will just blow some like that. There are powers that determine the success of whoever step on the land. There are causes that have been pronounced on. Today, I stand under this heavy anointing. Listen, listen. I am your spiritual father because there are some battles I win, not for myself alone, but for you. That's why what I fight, you will not fight. Therefore, I declare, on this land, you will prosper. On this land, you will excel. On this land, you will build houses. Your business will do well. Your career will do well. Somebody shout, I am unstoppable. No cause. No cause will stop me. No cause will stop me. I am unstoppable. Sit down. Let me just share one with you. Please just give me about 10 minutes. Is God blessing someone? Number three. Job chapter three verse eight. Job chapter 3 verse 8. I'm hearing in my spirit that breakthrough will look like dream to you. It will look like dream to you. Ha. Who is that man 
dancing. Who is that man dancing? Dancing, dancing. Without drum. He's dancing. I just see him dancing. Without drum. I just see him dancing. I declare, Masha Kataya, everything that God has finished in his throne, we appear on earth for your sake. We appear on the earth for your sake. You will dance. I say you will dance. I say you will dance. I'm hearing Ikolo. Oh, GRS is total restoration. I declare by the word of the law, total restoration. Total restoration. Total restoration. Number three, I call it programmed courses. Programmed courses. You know when they say they program something? Look at this scripture. Please look at it. Let them cause it. That what? That cause the day. Listen to me. Even for example, you say you are redeemed. He had redeemed me from every causes of the Lord. What about the day? Bible said these people, they don't curse the man. They don't curse the woman. They only curse the day. That is Monday. First of whatever. This thing must happen to this man. It was the day they cursed. That was why Job said in Job 38, he said, look at that, Job 38, 12 and 13. Job 38, 12 and 13. Look at what Job said. Job 38, 12 and 13. Job 38, 12 and 13. Has thou commanded your money since thy days? And cause the day spring to know its place. Next verse. That it might take hold of the hands of the heart. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. That is the wicked they have programmed in the day. Have you done something about it? Some of us, we just wake up in the morning and step out. We are ass. There are causes that have been programmed in the day. That was what Paul was saying in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. He said, Redeeming the times for the days are evil. God, God the Father, in Genesis chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 3, the Bible says, And the Lord blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. God. God that created the day, blessed the day. All my days in this year, they are blessed. Ah, she was shabby. Oh, they need so you know, do you? All through the days in this year, you will not have any occasion to weep. Somebody, can you say with a loud voice, all my days in 2022 are blessed with favor, with breakthrough, with testimonies. Can you go ahead and declare? Can you go ahead and declare? All my days, all my days. My days. I think somebody is going to take it serious. I think you are going to take it serious. Oh, Shakala Bayada. All my days.
days are blessed in 2022 blessed with favor blessed with testimonies In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. <laughs> Look at Lamentation chapter 2, verse 16. We are about to round up. Thank you, God. God is already doing mighty works. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 16. Look at this. <laughs> All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They ease and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her hope. Certainly, this is the day that we have looked for. New King James said, This is the day we have waited for. We have found it and we have seen it. Show it your and draw. Don't draw the no year. Tear the fear any. They said they have been waiting for this day. And surely they have they will not find it all. I think somebody is smart. That day that the enemy is waiting for, for you to shed tears, that they may mock you. I decree by the hand of the law upon this service that day will never come. Somebody, can you rise up and say after me, say, Father. No, I don't like that. Say, Father. That day that my enemies are waiting for to mock me in the name of Jesus, that day will never come to pass. That day will never come to pass. That day they are waiting for that I will bury my wife, that we bury my children. That day will never come. It will never come. It will never come. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please, we are about to round up. I don't like the way we are praying that prayer. They said we have waited for this day that this particular day he will bury his wife. This particular day, he will bury his child. This particular day, he will cry. This particular day, he will lose his job. He said they have waited. Only God knows since when they have been waiting. They have waited. They have calculated. He, and they said, we have found the day. And you are closing your mouth like that. I'd like you to say after me, say, Father. Say it louder, Father. The day that the enemy is waiting for. In my life, we never happen. We never come to pass. Go ahead and pray the prayer. Jesus mighty name we are praying.
last prayer, Nehemiah 13, verse 2. Nehemiah 13, verse 2. All our children in tabernacle of power, they will live all their days in blessings in Jesus' name. None of them will repeat our battles. I think I will hear a louder amen. They will not repeat our battles. In the name of Jesus. He said, because they met not, they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but they hired Balaam against them. That it should cost them. How be it? Our God. Our God. Somebody say, My God. My God. Say it again. Say, my God. my God. He said, Our God turned the cause into a blessing. So sometimes God will wait, let them cause, and I will turn the cause to blessing. You are going to pray the last prayer. Please, can you look for somebody to pray for? Look for somebody to pray for. Hold that person with your two hands. You know, we are, we are, we are touch touch. Right? But this one, don't pray a touch prayer. That person should feel that you are praying for him or her. Say, Father. No, that voice is not loud. Say, Father. Every curse is pronounced on this man. Pronounce on this woman. God of tabernacle of power. Turn them to blessings. Go ahead and pray for that man. Turn them to blessings. Turn them to blessings. Somebody pray. Turn them to blessings. Woo! 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 Come to Not be blessed and be cursed at the same time. Therefore, I declare your heads are blessed. Your heads are blessed. Hear me. Whatever has not touched your hands because of curses, by the blessings of the Lord, they will begin to touch your hands. Now we begin to touch your hands. Now we begin to touch your hands. That cause that is responsible to near success syndrome. You are close to it and something happened. You see it and something happened. I declare every cause of near success syndrome is therefore destroyed tonight. It's destroyed tonight. It's destroyed tonight. Father, hear my outcry for these people. After today, 
Go get that employment letter. Go get that visa. Go get that visa. Go get that breakthrough. Get that breakthrough. Get that connection. Get that connection. Get that help. Receive that help. Receive that favor. Receive that open door. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Everything they call family sickness, family affliction, dies tonight. Dies tonight. Dies tonight. Dies tonight. Dies tonight. I see something. Lower abnormal pains. Lower abnormal pains. It is not normal. Tonight, uh, together with vibroid, tonight marks the end of that affliction. Please hear this. I can see my eyes are open. That family giant that says you will not cross over. That family giant. Family giant. I can see. Omiro, oh, Omiro. Oh, that family giant that says you will not cross over. Today, Lekoshata Yadaba. I stand under this great mantle. That giant fall. That giant fall. That giant fall. Crossover. 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 Somebody say, I want you to say three times, I am crossing over. Say three times, I am crossing over. I am crossing over. I am crossing over. Oh, thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? Quickly carry an offering to bless the Lord. Carry an offering in your hand. Carry an offering in your hand. Please. I am especially, just like I invited you for this meeting tonight, I'm especially inviting you for Sunday. The Lord has given me a word for you the oil of joy. Listen, nothing can stand against your joy. Nothing. Nothing can stand against your joy. Please, I'd like you to come. Come with your friends. Come with your neighbors. Send a text message to someone. Invite somebody deliberately. Pay somebody's transport fare. Make sure that person is in church. The flyer will be out tonight. Please, share the flyers on all your social media handles. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. This offering is blessed in the name of Jesus. By this offering, I declare every suffering dies in the name of Jesus. That financial favor is coming for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please cast your offerings and rise to your feet as we just give glory to the name of the Lord. Let's say thank you to him. Let's say thank you to him. I think on Saturday, there's workers meeting on Saturday, 7 a.m. Please make sure you are here. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please look at somebody. 